perfect fit is important. Now an Aussie tech startup has a way to make sure everything is as millimetre perfect as this CX30. Hit the link to find out more. Victoria's solar homes rebates are still available. Google Kevl Prince Solar. Part of the Ace Radio Network, 88.9 and 93.7 Mix FM. 12 degrees in Melbourne. Showers easing tomorrow, a top of 12. It's four o'clock. Good afternoon. I'm Tony Tardio. Police have issued a warning about the prospect of the global opioid epidemic reaching Australian shores following a record haul of fentanyl. More from Pat Mitchell. 11 kilograms of pure fentanyl, the largest ever legal shipment of the drug detected in Australia, as well as $27 million worth of methamphetamine arrived in Melbourne hidden in a large piece of machinery called a lathe from Canada back in December. Border Force Commander James Watson Watson says it's the equivalent of about five and a half million doses of the deadly opioid, which is 50 times more potent than heroin. You know, the audacity of uh, the group behind this is just, quite frankly, outrageous. I'd describe it as a total act of bastardry. The investigation continues. No arrests have been made, but AFP Acting Commander Anthony Hall says they've gone public about it today to warn the community that the drug is among the substances fueling the global opioid epidemic. We don't want to see Australia joining the harm and effects to the community that are being experienced in, in other countries. Pat Mitchell, Nine News. Labor has signalled it may allow pensioners to work extra hours without affecting their benefits. People on the age pension can currently only earn an extra $300 a fortnight, but businesses believe this amount should increase. The federal government says it's happy to examine the issue to help deal with the current worker shortages. The Governor-General, Public Service and Prime Minister's former Prime Minister Scott Morrison could be the subject of a wide-reaching inquiry calls it growing for further investigations into how the former Prime Minister was able to secretly appoint himself into five extra ministerial portfolios. Liberal MP Bridget Arthur, Archer Rather and Greens leader Adam Bant are among those demanding the review. A severe weather warning for damaging winds remains in place for alpine areas as a cold front moves across the state. The Weather Bureau is forecasting it'll bring widespread rain over the next few hours. Meteorologist Phoebe DeWilt says some areas of Melbourne are likely to receive more rain than others. Melbourne city itself will probably see between two and six millimetres of rain, but towards the east we're likely to see more like five to ten millimetres of rain and even in the Yarra Ranges possibly up to 15. Six people over the age of 60 have died with COVID in the past reporting period in Victoria. There are 2,600 new cases. The former Prime Minister of Pakistan Imran Khan has been charged under the Anti-Terrorism Act after he accused police and judicial officials of the detention and torture of a party colleague. The BBC's Punsa Villani reports. A terrorism charge against the cricketer turned politician is the latest in ongoing tensions between Mr Khan and the government. Addressing a political rally on Saturday, Mr Khan condemned the country's police chief and a female judge for the detention and alleged torture of his close aide Sherbaz Kill. He said, you should also get ready as we will take action against you, referring to the pair directly. Police in their charge document said his utterances threatened peace and stability in Pakistan. Pakistan. In finance news, the share market down 65 points, the dollar by 69.01 US cents. Sonia Gillingham knows the Hamilton property market. Call Sonia at Groves Real Estate. Richmond's Tom Lynch will be fit to play in the Tigers' elimination final against Brisbane after scans cleared him of serious groin injury. The Lions are challenging the one-game ban handed to Cam Rayner for rough conduct in a bid to make him available for the clash. Faf Duplessis and Trent Bolt are among 12 premium overseas players eligible for the inaugural Big Bash draft unveiled at today's launch in Melbourne. The Melbourne Stars have second Pick skipper Glenn Maxwell not revealing which star player they'll target on Sunday. Any one of those 12 would be pretty handy. <laughs> Look at guys like Liam Livingston who's been so good over the last 12 to 18 months in all formats. We've obviously had Dre Russ last year. I saw his power single-handedly uh, during the 100 this season and was able to play with the big poly as well. So It's five past four. That's the latest in news and sport.
If you have an unwanted tree that needs removing or trees that are encroaching on fence lines, Barco can sort it out. They're your local accredited professional team and one-stop shop for tree lopping and traffic management. The next time you try a McCafe coffee, you'll be enjoying the delicious taste of Australia's most popular barista-made coffee. Just one of many reasons to try McCafe. If you haven't been into beds lately, maybe you should check out the range and quality of their stock. They don't have any trouble competing on price and their staff really go that extra mile to help. It's no wonder they going from strength to strength. Beds of Portland, Mix FM's years, Business of the have been Month. Mix your passion, your you're official back emergency roll. broadcaster. So if you're hitting the open road on your next outdoor adventure, Mix FM you're simply weather. taking pride Selling in or a buying job like that. There's only Southern one place to go. And real back, estate for Portland back to and surrounds. A gale wind warning for the west coast. Cloudy conditions this afternoon with rain continuing into the evening with some possible small hail as well. Tomorrow, a frosty start to the day. Showers throughout the day. Possible snow above 500 metres and a possible thunderstorm on the coast. Heading for a top of 11 degrees. Wednesday, cloudy with showers, a top of 12. And then for Thursday, another cloudy day with showers expected and a top of 13 degrees. Harvey Norman Hamilton, your laptop specialist. At the moment, it's nine.